Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 74 Extreme Edition. In the last episode, we finished up Course 4, started Course 5, and we got the Invisible Cap Switch that is in that pipe way over there. This episode, now that we have the Invisible Cap, I believe we should be able to go through this stage a bit easier. So that's what we're going to do, the Tunnel Labyrinth Part 1. Excuse me. Well, okay, here's the thing that I want to do. First off, I think I'm going to go for that wing cap switch, and I'm not, not switch, but, you know, wing cap. Wing cap. And I'm not entirely sure that might, that may or may not be what this star is. It was here in here, right? Okay, let's grab these gosh darn coins and then go for it. Because I think that might be our best bet. Just doing that again. And this is a stage where I'm going to remember all of the coin locations, because you gotta, kind of, if you want to survive really well, at least. Alright, let's get to the end of this again. Reminds me a bit of Dire Dire Docks, just because of that whole swimming segment and that. But, uh, a little harder, tiny bit, inch by inch harder. Where am I going here? Oh, straight forward. And we are done. That wasn't even tight. Actually, thank you. Loving that HP. Come on, Mario, go faster. Alright. So here we are. Back again. Uh, there's a star right there. There's a red coin here. We, If we could figure out how to get into this little side here. Actually, I'm not... I'm thinking there might not actually be an entrance to get up here. Well, no, there's that little... You can see there's an entrance down there. So there must be a way to get in it. Also, what's that? There is a block in the ceiling. Okay. Sure. Um... The... Yeah, this bad boy's right here. So we are actually going to... How? How in the world... Um, we're gonna try it, I guess. Now I couldn't even do that. Oh, if you could bounce off of him, maybe? No. No, it doesn't bounce you that high. Okay. Do you think it might have something to do with... Hold on, can you use this to get into higher in these? Oh, you could. You can also use it to just get back up. So there's that too, but I don't think that grants us any utility. Unless we had the gosh darn... Oh, oh, here's what we do. Dive down into that, okay, okay. So first, let's get up. This will make this a lot easier. Get up here. Line yourself up. Get in a good spot. I think we might want to move back a bit. Like to here, maybe. Dive down. Don't hit the water. Okay, this will be tight. Move back a bit. Let's do it from here. And keep in mind, we have plenty of time for our wing cap. It has a minute timer, and boom, there it is. Okay, cool. Well, that's how you get that. And that's also how... That's part three? Jeez. That's also how you could get into those other parts of that little red coin area. Ah, that's worth checking out. Oh, boy. Also, I wonder... That, that block that's all the way up there must have, like, ten coins or something. Let's try part one again. So what this is implying is basically most of the stars we get from this level are all going to be in a single area. And that's kind of what I expected from the beginning, considering how we explored so much. And there was there was no stars. There were clams. There sure were some darn clams, that's for sure. I don't even think we have to go for those coins, honestly. We should be able to make this just fine. Just going through normally. Because we were only down like two points of HP, right? Did I just clip? I just clipped. 
Okay, swim back to the top. Well, that's interesting. Which also begs the question, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something and it is gonna work and I'm gonna be very, very happy. So, presumably you can go through this wall right here. Is that it? No. Although it's cut right in the middle. You know what? I bet that's something you can open. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. We're gonna go through that wall. That's what we're gonna do. Oh boy. I'm feeling it again. Star Road, here we go. We're gonna Star Road it, kids. Oh, that's so possible. That's so possible. Yeah, because the, the rest of the wall doesn't act like that, so that's something special. Okay. Let's get a little farther back this time. Line ourselves up. And there is a... a water spider on the... on the ceiling. Oh, that's so close. Oh, that's so close, I can taste it. We're doing it. I don't care what happens. Oh, that's so close. Do you think... Uh, it might be too thick to get through. That's a possibility. Uh, in that case, doesn't the other wall also have a wall you can go through? But this wall doesn't open from the sides. I believe this is just a normal wall you can go through with the invisible cap, which would make it easier, presumably, to get through. No, this looks the same, just about, doesn't it? Well, no, because it's just that one block that looks weird on that one. Okay. I know I'm, I'm investing a lot of time into this, but you know we gotta jump. Also, I know what all of those little holes in the ceiling are for now. Hmm, why is this not working? It should be working. That was max speed. I think I did it too soon, though. I'm gonna get this. I don't care how long it takes. Oh! That was so close. Oh, did you see that? I literally had a foot sticking out and it pulled me out. It needed to. Let me through. Let me through. Okay, I think I might be done trying that. That is possible, though. It's gotta be. Unless he just purposely, knowingly made the walls thicker to try and stop that. Like, maybe two invisible walls to go through. Not invisible walls, but, you know, the walls you go through when you're invisible. So he might have done that. That's all I can think of, though. Anyway, let's not clip out of the wall. I like just, cl just clipping out of that wall like that just made me think, oh, you know what? I bet that's possible. And I bet at any point you could probably just like uh, press the B button against the wall in here and clip out out of it. I imagine just huh? Oh, or not? Who knows? Life's a mystery. Mario 64 is a a mystery too. What I'm saying is life is Mario 64. Here we go, and we made it. La yeah, there's no no problem with that. Okay. Now we kind of have to go ham with this uh, wing cap and kind of perfect its movement. Um, there's that star in the middle. Thing is, if I get to this... <sighs> Other thing is, I'm not even sure if you can go through these. Well, no, because this is the same texture as before with that star behind it, right? So you must be able to go through these when you have the invisible cap. So it'd be the one, like, right next to it. Nope. Missed it. There we go. So let me get a... Good look here. I'd have to get through that. And that's not gonna be easy. Alright, let's go ahead and grab it. And figure this out, like, right now. Okay, so... Back it up a bit. Let's do it. 
Let's try out the different holes, why don't we? That's Mario 64 for ya. Okay, there's one right there. We'll go ahead and do that one. Now I know where it is. I'll touch the water and fail completely. That's really high. No! Eh. I, that, that counts, right? I'm doing it too soon now. This is, like I said, gonna be a process. Just getting this thing perfected, because we're gonna have to do this multiple times, I imagine. Yeah, like, look at that. We're in. We're in just like that. Now, what's in here? That's the star. Okay, so that was the correct one for the star. Now, I'm pretty... Oh, I hit my table. That's part four. Okay, sure. Now, I'm pretty sure I know which one I have to go into for the invisible cap. Problem is, it is, like, right in the spot you don't want it to be to get through. So that's going to be questionable at best. But that's the only thing I have, I'm, I'm going on at the moment. Other than clipping through walls, but I'm um, not sure that's a stable way to get through this level. Not completely sure. So we're going to do the good old-fashioned, tried and true, going through here. Because that's how we live our life now. Is just every, every starts through here. That's weird. Well, I mean, they're literally called part one, two, three, and four. Apparently there's four. Maybe there's a fifth one. Because that would be... One of them would be red coins, wouldn't it? Because that is part of the labyrinth. Huh. So almost every single star has gotten through this one way. Unless I'm getting them in an unintentional way. But I don't imagine it's unintentional. Because literally every path is from the wing cap. So... Not sure about that one die. See, we'd have to get into this hole right here, either that, or find out where that entrance is coming from. And there's no telling. Absolutely none. So I think what he might have actually just done is gave given every kind of uh, star just two ways to get to. And that might have been his intention. And it's just, oh, if you want to get to this one that kind of breaks the entire level... You're going to have to really go through a hard hole. That's that's the way I wanted to say that. There you go. Because oh, I don't think if we tried from this angle, we could even get through. I mean, we could, but that would be tight to just fit into this hole and get up. Because this is where the... Uh, the invisible cap is, and I'd really like to get into that one. I mean, I can save here and try it. That's for sure. Because it almost looked like it let me just hit against the wall. No. It's too close now. Because I, I, I'd have to do it straight like this, you know? Hold up. But that's not even close. Nowhere close. So the only other way is to get like this, hit like this, and have enough speed to go back around into it. Which would not be a thing. Also, I just saved the state. Uh, another way to do that would also be uh, get in a better hole first and then shoot for it. There's also this, also this one way at the end here. That might be a one to go for. I'm going to have to swim all the way back to it, though. I'll go ahead and cut that out. Okay, we're back up here. Now, let me just check. So that hole right there goes into the area with the star. The hole right there... I also have to consider... Uh, there's not really enough room to jump into each of these holes except for the one at the beginning that we're at right now. I, because uh, I'd have to, mm, I'd have to jump in from the side. Also consider the star, that thing's right there. Um, and I'm not sure if that's a star. It could very well be though, 
considering how many Secrets of the Labyrinth there supposedly is. So you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. See what that is, and it ha if it happens to be a star, there you go. Um, so I have to jump out at this angle, don't I? At least I think so. We'll see. Oh, yep, there she is. Okay. That shouldn't be actually too hard, because that's, like, perfectly down and up. Yeah, look at that. So I'm assuming it wants us to... Oh. Oh, it's just 10 coins. Oh, boy, that's for 100 coins. Uh, is there a red coin in the area with the, uh... There is. Yeah, that's the one back there with the, uh... Because either that, we, or we could go into each of these things and, uh... Get the red coin separately and then go for the red coin star. Which is here. Where does this lead, though? Now, that's a question. We could see where each of these hidden paths are. Also, five extra coins. So, really, you get 15 coins for going that way. So, maybe if we can figure out a pattern with each of these extra ways, because I'm thinking another pattern similar to the clams might be um, in every room there is a secret path to one of these areas, which would not be too far-fetched, because mainly the clams... They were that exact same way, and that would that would be a really good way to utilize each room. Yeah, this is the big open room. This is the starting room. So, I think I was right. Where was that entrance, though? I can't even find it now. Well, there you go. So we know two of the entrances, basically. We know for the one, uh, pretty much diagonal of the room we just came out of. Please get up here in time. So, all that's left is to check all the rooms for their secret passage. Because there are five rooms and there are five secret passage, I think, passages. So let's check this room. You know what, straight in here. Let's check this one. Clam in the bottom. This is the room we missed the clam. Five more coins here. Actually, is this the starting room? I think this is the starting room. Um... I believe I found the secret way. Yep. So when you're looking for it, there's a sparky. When you're looking for it, it's not actually the hardest thing to find. There's a lot of turns in this one. I hope I can get to it soon enough. We've made it. Rude, first off. Okay, so which room is this? Uh, this is not the one we were looking for. Can I please get up this? Thanks. Um... This is directly opposite of that first one we got into. That's like, oh, your adventure has started. Huh. Also, is that... Is this directly below the room I came in? No, because I was on the end. How do you get to these two red coins? Oh, from that over there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hop out of here. Okay, yeah, we just need to really just check rooms we haven't gone in and... Rude! And hope it's the right one. So, let's check other rooms. This is a slow-moving level. Not gonna lie. So... This is another room. Or is this the one we had before? I don't think so. And these paths are completely new. These were definitely not in the original version of this stage. I don't believe. And also, does this count as the same room as the one below it? Um... Not seeing any. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're gonna check that after we get some air. And get lucky. 
This was the only entrance to this specific room, right? Um, I don't know. Because, uh, I'm still thinking, like, you'd assume that the entrance hardest to find would be the one with the invisible cap, because once again, that's the ultimate room. It breaks all the others. You go in it, you win. Yeah, there's this huge entrance right here. Okay, so it was right over here. We should have enough HP for this. Hopefully, back into Mario Cam. Oh boy, this might seem... This is probably kind of boring to watch, not gonna lie. It's really just us looking for one passage, finding it, and then going down it. I mean, yeah, that's literally exactly what we're doing, but, I mean, still. Eh, you don't need the HP. Now, where are we now? Actually, we found the one. Okay, and this will allow us to go through the walls, right? No! It doesn't. Not these. Okay, so this is actually... Okay, so here's the thing. I already went through a lot of them. I think I might as well go for red coins. Did I get the one in the main room already? I did. So we need to... There's only four more. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for it. No, because then I'd want to I want to do that with the 100 coins, don't I? We found this one with the invisible cap. Let's use that invisible cap for what it's for. Problem is, I don't remember which room is the one that you want it for. So, let's get lucky. Because I'm sure this is a very tight timing. Uh, let's try the bottom right. I don't know what to exactly peg these rooms for. Ah, oh, that got me. I think this is the one. At least. So we'll go ahead and grab this star. Um, one of these has the... In Actually, where was the metal cap? Actually, I don't remember. It was one of the rooms up there, right? They're all... You can get all the caps through this. Um... I don't believe it's this room. Oh, there is this up here. What's this? That is, in fact, a star. Okay, so we know what room to bolt it to. That seems incredibly tight, though. Which way will the hat pop out? The right way. We're gonna let it roll. No, I didn't want to do that. Hold on. Can I, like, dive through it? That's actually perfect. So we're diving straight for this room down here, because this is the right one. There's not another entrance to this room, right? No, I don't think so. Straight up here, and... Boom. Cool. That's a star. There you have it. Um... Okay, so that's three stars. We're at 24 minutes. I think that'll do it for this episode. Um... This gate, I think, okay, this stage really intimidated me at the start, not gonna lie, because you know it's a lot of the same. It looks similar, so it's like kind of mazy. And I mean, it's literally a maze. It calls it a labyrinth. So it intimidated me a lot. But I think I understand this stage pretty well now, because now I understand, well, first off, the clams. Um, I understand the five tunnels in the five different rooms. Um... And that metal cap shouldn't be something hard to figure out either. I think we're good. In fact, I think we're, this shouldn't be a hard stage. 100 coins are definitely going to suck, so I'm going to have to find all of those. But whatever. See you all then, and goodbye. Goodbye.